Today, we intend to show the American people that January 6th was not an isolated incident. In the weeks culminating before, it was a legal scheme and deception. We've already learned that President Trump knew he lost the 2020 election. Shortly after, he began to look for a way to circumvent our country's most fundamental civic tradition, the peaceful transfer of power. The president latched on to a dangerous theory and would not let go because he was convinced it would keep him in office. We witnessed firsthand what happened when the president of the United States weaponized this theory. The Capitol was overrun, police officers lost their lives, and the vice president was taken to a secure location because his safety was in jeopardy. Let's take a look at the effect of Donald Trump's words and actions. Mike Pence is going to have to come through for us, and if he doesn't, that will be a, a sad day for our country. And Mike Pence, I hope you're going to stand up for the good of our Constitution and for the good of our country. And if you're not, I'm going to be very disappointed in you, I will tell you right now. I'm telling you what, I'm hearing the Pence. I hear the Pence just caved. No. Is that true? I didn't I'm hear hearing, I'm hearing no. reports that Pence caved. No I'm way. telling you, if Pence caved, we're going to drag motherfuckers through the streets. You fucking politicians are going to get fucking drugged through the streets. Yes. I guess the hope is that there's such a show of force here that Pence will decide to just do, do the right show. thing, according to Trump. How did we get to this point? How did we get to the point where President Trump's most radical supporters led a violent attack on the Capitol and threatened to hang President Trump's own vice president? You'll hear from witnesses that Donald Trump pressured Mike Pence to adopt a legally and morally bankrupt idea that the vice president could choose who the next president can be. You'll hear about how the vice president, the White House counsel, and others told Donald Trump that the vice president had no such authority. But President Trump would not listen. You'll hear how Vice President Pence withstood an onslaught of pressure from President Trump, both publicly and privately, a pressure campaign that built to a fever pitch with a heated phone call on January 6th. You'll also hear that the president knew there was a violent mob at the Capitol when he tweeted at 2.24 p.m that the vice president did not have the, quote, courage to do what needed to be done. Let me be clear. Vice President Pence did the right thing that day. He stayed true to his oath to protect and defend the Constitution. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses this afternoon.